hey guys how are you all doing welcome back to my channel i know you're looking kids nobody can tell you nothing in today's video we are going to be talking about hair care braids and mobile afro hairdressers in united kingdom mobile afro hairdressers in united kingdom okay you guys take a minute and appreciate my braid okay take a minute let's appreciate this braid people it's really long as you can tell, I tied this hair like so, and it's still long, so I've got not less braids. And I'm looking cute. <laughs> I would love to start this video by telling you guys about my braids. So first of all, my braids, okay? About my braids. My braid is done in the comfort of my home, okay? You heard that right? In the comfort of my home in United Kingdom, okay? So you can also get your hair done in the comfort of your home from anywhere in United Kingdom, okay? All you need to do is go on mobileafrohairdressersandbeauty.com or you can just search mobileafrohairdressers.com, okay? I'm going to put a direct link to the website under this video. So all you need to do is click on there and to and it will take you to the website you register with your address you sign up you check their portfolio their ratings you know and you can just book them they will come to you get your hair done in the comfort of your home gone are those days when you need to like stress to go to do your hair because braids take forever and imagine going out to do it so for those people who love to stay in their house who don't like to go out to get their hair done just like me you can check on mobile afro hairdressers and beauty.com okay yes mobile afro hairdressers and beauty.com on there as well you can book a makeup artist weave wig install you know anything beauty okay you can get your hair weaved your hair washed your hair cut trimmed whatever you want to get done anything beauty related you can book it on mobile afro hairdressers anywhere in united kingdom okay oh your girl is popping like look at me Ooh, i think i should just leave it like this i look cute like this nobody can tell me nothing like this this video is gonna be quick you all so let's quickly talk about hair care braids okay people complain about hair loss that their hair is not growing their hair but they're not taking good care of their hair because of what wigs so because we wear wigs all the time, sometimes we just forget that we need to take care of our hair underneath the wig, okay? And if you're someone that wears wigs all the time, like you don't just like braiding your hair, which is fine, but take care of your hair underneath. For me, if you wear wigs, please always do what? Curl your hair neatly in a way that you can even go out without your wigs. Make sure you always wash it, comb it, detangle it, oil it, moisturize it, then you cannot do another curl, okay, for your wig. Please, 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 not because you wear wig, then your hair underneath, like if your wig even fall off, like you're not going to be proud of the hair underneath. For me, I just like, you guys will notice, like once in a while, so what I do is I wear wigs and then I braid my hair. Then I take a break, wear wigs again, then i braid my hair so this is what i do so i alternate i know a lot of people don't like braids because some people don't like the caniculon hair the caniculon fiber because they feel like it's not good for them because of some research that say oh it has this chemical and that chemical and all that so some people don't wear braids at all so if you don't wear braids and you do like twist out and all those kind of stuff please make sure your twist out is nicely done you know make sure you wash it every now and then do another twist out after maybe two weeks three weeks you do another one make sure it's nice and moisturized not freezy like looking like looking tangled you know like looking dehydrated and dry make sure it's moisturized Do you get me okay that's for those people who don't wear who don't braid their hair at all make sure your hair is moisturized you get me make sure it's nicely washed moisturized okay yeah <laughs> so for how long you should keep your braids yeah this is something we need to discuss in the comment section okay some people believe that if you braid your hair then you have to carry it for like six months or so i know people actually say oh my god i only braid my hair twice in a year which is good i'm not even saying it's not even a good thing but for me personally people get to ask me like when you braid your hair chichi how long do you carry it I don't carry my braids more than six weeks. Four weeks 
um, is out. Four weeks is out, okay? Because for me, I don't really like to wear one hairstyle for a long time, okay? I just like to braid my hair four weeks, five weeks, maximum six weeks is out. And I'm washing my hair and I'm doing my cornrow, okay, for my wigs. And then after that, I'm going to go back, you know, to braid. So this is how I do my, this is how I alternate, okay? Because for me, when I braid my hair, for, for me, okay, for me, when I braid my hair, it's like stress-free moment for me. For me, wig is even stressful because you need to make sure your wig is looking nice because some people don't even wear their wigs nicely. Okay, so yeah, so for me, when I do my, when I get my hair braided, I feel like, oh yeah, now I can rise for another four weeks or five weeks. Because all I need to do is tie my hair like this. And when you wake up in the morning, guys, yeah, as you can see, your girl is not wearing any makeup, okay? Okay, yeah, I'm not wearing makeup. And I can just pop, wake up like this and pop. So this is why I love my braids anytime, any day. I would choose braids, yeah, anytime because it's stress-free. I'm not going to lie to you. My braids, I can take my braids anywhere. I can style it and it's going to look nice and popping, okay? So I can take my braids anywhere, but I still like both. I like wigs because it's different looks. Nobody want to wear the same look 24 hours every day, January to December, you know, something different. Even though I love my braids, but I don't want to wear braids January to December as well. It's not good for you to be braiding your hair January to December. So just like a break for me, when I braid my hair, I take a little bit of a break, you know. And because I have mobile afro hairdressers and beauty, okay, I can just book it anytime any day 24 hours a day i can just go on the platform and book a hairdresser to come to me i have nothing to worry about you get me i can book someone to come to do my curl i can book someone to come and take my wig my weave out install my wigs or braid my hair so for me i have nothing to worry about because i can just book on mobile afro hairdressers and beauty.com okay so what's another question people get to ask okay we need to talk about this okay some people wash their hair they'll carry their hair for six weeks no they carry their hair for six months yeah and they wash it interval for me personally i don't think it's a good idea to wash your braids yeah quote me anywhere i don't think it's a good idea i don't think it's a good idea for you to wash your braids on your hair i know some youtuber tell you oh this is how you wash your hair then you can carry it again for another two months three months let me tell you what some of these people you watch who tell you wash your hair you can carry it for another three months some of them they're just doing this video it's just content for them some of them they don't actually actually carry their hair because they are even content creators yeah they can't possibly even wear their hair for more than a month because they need something different you get what i mean so you're not like, oh, I watch this video. This video say you can wash your hair and carry it for another three months and da, 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 da. and this person that has been telling you this is not doing the same. There's nothing wrong with washing your hair, but for me, I believe if I wash my hair, there is, this hair you're seeing, this extension, there is, they have chemicals, you know, they have chemicals. So when I'm washing it on my head, I feel like all the chemical, 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 <laughs> chemical is going to my scalp. Like, I know if you're going to wash it at the end of the day, wash it off, shampoo it, but in the process of washing my hair and washing it before I even wash it off, for that five minutes, that, for that five minutes, yeah, the chemicals are going to be on my scalp and all that. I'm going to go inside my hair. I just don't like washing my hair, period, okay? Oh, I don't like washing my braids on my hair. Also, another reason is this, yeah? most times people wash their braids and they don't wash it properly or they don't dry it properly so that way as well like a bacteria is not getting your hair like you're not washing it properly you're not drying it properly you're not oiling it properly so you're just washing your hair and then there is some soap here there's soap here there is soap somewhere or somewhere that you didn't wash properly so what's the point? You're actually washing your hair, but you left some soap and all that. It's going to make you have a little bit of, you know, something, something, maybe bacteria here. And then your hair is going to start eating there. You're going to start having problems in one spot. You, you're going to start having problems on one spot on your head because you left one soap there that you didn't wash properly. This is why I just don't even like it. Also, if you don't wash it properly or dry it properly, 
your hair might start smelling your braid that you actually wash so it's just the reverse is going to be the case so you're washing it to avoid it smelling then you didn't dry it properly then it's going to start smelling then bacteria and mm. so this is why as why i don't like washing my hair when i feel like okay this hair is messy or is dirty i just take it out wash my hair properly you get what i mean and then i can get my hair redone okay yes so many people have quote me like no you can wash your hair okay some people can have oil scab okay their hair is always oily so they want to wash it because it's very oily after some time it's oily okay so they want to wash it um you know what i'm not telling anybody what to do with their hair but i'm just talking about my own personal 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 preference okay yes i just don't want to wash it i just don't want to wash my hair i don't want to wash my hair like if my hair is messy i take my hair out and do another one okay i just don't want to wash my hair also in terms of a lot of people ask me do, do i prefer braids to cornrows the reason why i love braids is because braids are versatile also braids cornrow can pull your hair if you do it often okay even though you guys know i did cornrow the last time if you noticed that my cornrow has come in like this i can insert a picture here but cornrow is something i don't like to do often because if i pull your front hair and all this kind of stuff okay also i feel like the the only time cornrows last is when you do it smaller okay when you do it smaller 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 like the one i actually took off okay if you do cornrow bigger yeah they don't, they don't last as much Okay, they don't just last as much well braids even though you do it chunky or any any size you do it they still last and i feel like because i can style it anyhow i like this is why i love braids okay so some people ask if they should use human hair for braiding it depends on the style okay some styles when you use human hair they won't last as long but depending on the look you're going for okay some look like all those pick and drop kind of hairstyle you know that you leave some out you might want to use human hair but i still feel like human hair don't last as much i still feel from experience that human hair when you use them to braid they don't last as long as the caniculan hair okay but for those kind of rough looks or pick and drop you can use human hair but when you want to do braid like all everything braided just use caniculan hair and also some caniculan hair there are some fiber hair out there that have so many colors, you know, like other synthetic fiber hair. Those hair, the, some of them, you have to be, you have to be careful because some of those hair out there, especially those fiber hair, synthetic fiber hair, those hair have a range of color like purple, pink, green. But some of those hair, yeah, they, you can dip them in hot hot water, so you can't seal them in hot water. So because of that. You can have this clean braid because you can seal them with hot water so you need to be careful when buying your hair you have to make sure the hair that you're buying you can seal them with hot water because that way that's the only way your hair is gonna look neat properly sealed especially if you want to wash your hair yes you need this kind of hair that you can seal properly okay great sometimes people are like oh is it painful Depending on who is doing, <laughs> depending on who is doing your hair, you can feel a little of pain here and there, but just a little, you know. It's after like um sometimes one day, two days, you're fine, okay. But the day I did my hair, I can't really tie it or play with it as much as I'm doing it now. But this is almost a week now, so yeah, now I can play with my hair. You get what I mean? So you can feel a little bit of pain. Get me? Yeah some people ask like oh when they braid their hair some of their hair fall out and all that kind of stuff it's because you braided some of the tiny hair or they didn't braid it tight as well so you can just fall or pull off or sometimes some people play a lot with their hair like they get their hair done and they play with it they are touching it like if i'm sleeping i use my tights okay i use tights from this hair i wear my tights and i just tie the tights around my hair so tight is your best friend when you have your hair long like this okay use tights okay i use tights okay yes you wear your tights on your head and you just use the two legs to go over it like so so yeah that's it for braids i want you guys to comment down below do you wash your braids when you get your hair braided do you wash your braids oh some people even wash their weave 
the wave yeah people wave their hair like so in wave and they wash it okay and they restyle it and all that i'm a hairdresser and a lot of people come to me for me to wash their hair which i wash nicely you know to be honest i think if you go to the salon to actually wash your braids they will wash it really really nice they wash it really nice really clean because they will blow dry it you know but sometimes when people wash their hair themselves this is when sometimes they won't be able to wash it nicely you get what i mean so people wash weave okay they wash their weave and they tongue it they blow dry they tongue it again and all that yeah so let me know do you wash your weave after your install okay do you wash your braids after some times like you know just to get rid of the oils and all that and how often do you oil your scalp when you braid your hair I oil my scalp when I get my hair braided, but I don't oil it all the time because people over oil their hair sometimes and then that's when their hair gets very dirty easily because if they oil, depending on the kind of oil you're using, some oil are really heavy and when you just do like this, you can just see the oil, okay, in your finger. So, some people oil a lot. So, let me know in the comment section, how do you protect your hair? How do you wear your hair? Do you wear a wig? If you wear a wig, do you curl your hair underneath? do you braid do you like your braids or do you like your sewing weave or do you just like wigs what do you do or do you do twist out and wear natural hair a lot of people are wearing their natural hair out now because it's easy all they need to do is to wash their hair condition their hair and do twist out when they wake up you know they do their twist out so let me know in the comment section and let me know what you think about me not wearing makeup today by looking cute am i puppy? just let me know okay this is so much this is so much easy for me because you know i can just on the camera just do my thing i don't need to go i'm like where is my lipstick where is my eye pencil with this this way actually i can do a lot of videos because i don't need to actually be you know be dressing up dressing up this will be kind of cool i guess <laughs> because sometimes when i want to film and i start thinking about oh Need to do my brows, do my nose contour because I need to make my nose fine. Then I'll be like, you know what? Chichi just go to sleep. Okay, you guys, I'm going to sleep. Yes, I'm going to sleep. I woke up very early this morning and I was working on the computer. So now finish filming this video. I'm gonna go sleep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. Make sure you like, make sure you comment. And make sure you share this video with your family and friends. Also, my cosmetics line is launching very soon. So, stay tuned. Bye, guys. Mwah.